Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Telefilm Tea Lounge in downtown Toronto with composer Marcelo Zarvos. How does it feel to have two feature films, Enough Said and The Face of Love, screening here at the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, it feels like a real, a real honor. I mean, this is one of the great, great festivals in the world, and to have these two films premiering here, it's really... It's quite overwhelming and in, a, in the best sense of the word. I, I, I love this festival and I think uh, the level and the sophistication of the films is amazing and to be a part of it with two films is it's pretty great. <laughs> and both films deal with love but in very different ways. Can you tell me a little bit about the differences between the two films and how you approach them depending on the subject matter? Yes, both, both films, as you said, they deal with love. I, Face of Love deals with loss and um, I, I guess you could say that both also deal with loss but from from very different angles uh, face of love is a very dramatic um, it's a very sad story about loss and sorrow and the things that we'll do to uh, get back something that we lost you know and um, and that Benning gives a amazing performance of course like she's the, the incredible actress that she is uh, and uh, but it's mostly it's, it's a darker film and it's a it's a much more um, uh, internal film if you will enough said also deals with loss but actually the loss that the characters are feeling is actually their their daughter is going to college so these two characters Julia Louis Dreyfus and the late James Gandolfini are dealing with that and and a romance that is happening between them has has a very I don't want to give away because both films have have a very there's an element that if I say what it is I think it would really detract from the uh, experience but they both both of these women uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus only enough said and Annette Bening on the face of love they they have secrets and there's the secrets that they're keeping from their partner that come to Haunt, uh, haunt them in a in a big way and kind of basically blow up in their faces eventually. But um, both of these films have that in common. But um, enough said is by uh, Nicole Hall of Center, the writer director. She's a wonderful, wonderful writer, and who's, this is her sixth film, and she's just ke just keeps getting better. It's really funny. Julia Louis Dreyfus gives this. I love I love her. You know, since Seinfeld, like everybody else, you know, we we all love watching her and, and Gandolfini gives this amazing performance which unfortunately is to be one of his last but um, he really transcends that role of Tony Soprano that so many people have been you know associated him for with him for a long time and these are both really powerful films really powerful films and from a composing perspective what is your working process like when signing on to a film in in general on each of them individually well first there's panic you know <laughs> that's, that's and then once the panic kind of uh, comes down a little bit you know you you try to really get from the director what is it that they want what because you are there to really make their vision complete and they have a lot of trust in a composer because it's one area that most directors cannot do it themselves and so there's a lot of talking a lot of briefing going on from the director and ultimately a lot of trial and error you know of, of trying things and experimenting and taking chances some of them end up in the cutting room floor and some of them you know the, the really good ones are on the screen yeah what is the importance of the score in terms of the filmmaking process I think the score is that final element you know I always try to say like if you're baking bread or something you're gonna need some elements to make it to really for the bread to really happen and I think it's there's a bit of an alchemy thing I think in film that the music is this one sort of mysterious and magical element that comes in but ties it all together and also draws most importantly draws the audience emotionally into the film and makes you really feel that you're there and you're you're experiencing that that in reality what inspired you to become a composer? Other films, you know, other films. I mean, I, I love films since I was a, as a little boy, and I just watched. Uh, I remember watching, I don't know, Godfather, for instance, and saying, "Wow, that's so amazing!" And that music is so beautiful. What is that? And I, I, I was a musician since I was very young, and um, 
but I was always very fixated on, on writing movie scores, so I'm glad that it worked out. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Congratulations thank and have an amazing time here at the Toronto International Film Festival. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Telefilm Tea Lounge in downtown Toronto.